This week's question relates to the testing for patients with smoldering myeloma. And this patient asks, uh, I've heard that MRI testing can be important uh, as a baseline to see if treatment might be necessary for a patient with smoldering uh, myeloma. Is that correct? And the answer to that question is, is definitely yes. Uh, there has been a recent effort to look at patients with smoldering myeloma to see if there are any factors that indicate a likelihood of more rapid onset of active myeloma versus staying in a smoldering state. And one of the tests has been uh, MRI, and it's been noted that if you have two or more new lesions showing up on an MRI scan, and these are what we call uh, focal lesions or spots. So two or more small spots on an MRI, for example, in the spine or in the pelvis, if there are two of these discrete focal lesions, this would be a sufficient concern about new and evolving uh, bone damage that this indeed would be an important consideration for starting therapy. There are a couple of other tests that we're also looking at in the similar circumstance. One would be if at the same time the bone marrow percentage was 60% uh, plasma cells or more. The other test that we're starting to look at more is the free light test. Is the free light uh, test level 100 milligrams per deciliter or more? Those three tests are the ones that we're looking at in patients who are technically what we call CRAB negative. They don't have the traditional features of myeloma, but might fall into what we call ultra high risk smoldering. Patients who are smoldering but are really moving towards active myeloma sufficiently that we should really strongly consider starting treatment. And so, very important question. MRI can be very helpful and may indeed indicate a need to get started with some uh, anti-myeloma therapy.